Okay, guys, we are going to create this birdhouse, and I will show you step by step how to do that. All right, I'm going to start by uh, creating a sketch on the front plane. Okay, and then once I'm in the sketch mode, 2D sketch mode, I like to hit N on my keyboard to get the front view. And I'm going to go ahead and hide the top and the right plane, and I'm going to keep the front plane active for right now or vi visible, because uh, I'm going to use that again here in a minute. So let's start with the body or the base of the birdhouse. I'm going to draw a rectangle, but instead of using this corner rectangle tool, I'm going to hit the drop down arrow and hit the center point rectangle and click on the origin. I'm going to use the origin to kind of keep everything centered around the origin. So I'm going to click on the origin and then click again to make my rectangle. I want to make it four inches tall. So four, enter. And I want to make it three inches wide. So three, enter. Okay, so there's the um, main body. Uh, but I, I want the roof to be slanted. So I am going to get a line tool. And I want to find the center point of this line, right? So click on that center point, and I want to go click down here somewhere, escape from my line tool. Is it not letting me escape? Escape line, there we go. And click down here somewhere, escape line. I didn't want that to pitch in. Okay. So to make the roof correct, I'm going to use my dimension tool to dimension the distance between those two points, one inch. Distance between those two points, one inch. All right, so this bottom section is what I'm going to extrude. So finish the sketch, click extrude. I want to extrude this bottom section. Now, I'm going to do something different with this extrusion. Instead of just doing an um, extrusion in one direction, I want to keep that origin, once again, in the very middle of my birdhouse. So I'm going to click on symmetric, which means it's going to extrude it equally forward and back. And so I want my birdhouse to be four inches um, deep. All right, then I'll hit OK, check mark. So I've got the front plane is cutting it directly in half. The origin is exactly in the middle. Um, and that's going to be useful later. OK, so now to the roof. Um, I'm going to start a sketch on the front plane again. OK, so sketch, front plane. Click in to get my normal front view. Actually, I want to start by offsetting this line of the roof. And um, I want to offset it 0.25, so a quarter of an inch. Okay, And then I want to draw a line coming up. And so I want those points to be um, there. So I need to project geometry. Where's that at? There it is. Project. So I'm going to project this line. So basically, I am getting that line on my now, my current sketch. And then I'm going to draw a line from the top straight up vertically. And then I'm going to draw a line down here from the left side straight over horizontally. OK, so once I have these two lines, I'm going to ex extend this um, offset line all the way down. So um, instead of trim, you guys have used the scissors, the trim. If I click on that down arrow, extend is another option. And it does the opposite of trim. It adds on to a line. And I can add on to there, click on this line again, and I can add on 
all the way to there. But notice I didn't go quite far enough with this line, so I need to then extend this line all the way to there. Okay, so I have created a solid shape. I can now then trim off this excess. All right, so there's half the roof. All right. Um, and I'm going to extrude. And just like last time, I want a symmetrical extrusion. And I want the roof to hang over a little bit on both the front and the back. So I'm going to do a 5-inch extrusion. I did a 4-inch extrusion last time. And before I hit OK, um, instead of adding to this current solid, I actually want to create its own separate solid. So it creates it as if it's two different parts. OK. Um, all right. So since I've got multiple parts going here, I want to go ahead and label these so that I don't get confused. So part one, if I right click on it down here, I'm going to rename it to body. Part two, I'm going to rename it to roof. All right. And um, let's go ahead and mirror the roof on the other side. So I'm going to click on mirror. It's asking me, what do I want to mirror? Either the roof or the body. I want to mirror the roof. Mirror plane is going to be this side right here. And so that should duplicate that on the other side, mirroring it. And I don't want to add a new. I want to add. Right, because I don't want to. I don't want to create a new part for the second half of the roof. I want to add to my other roof. So it's going to ask me, "What's my merge scope?" Meaning, what do I want to add this to? And I want to add it to either the body or the roof. I want to add the second half of the roof to the roof, of course. So now the roof is one solid piece, and the body is its own solid piece. All right. Um, now, I think I'm done with this front plane, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the visibility off on it. Um, and one thing I forgot to do is I forgot to shell the inside of this. So I'm going to go ahead and shell. Um, and I'm going to turn the visibility off of my roof. And I want to remove the top of my birdhouse. And I want to make it 0.25 thick. So it's pretty thick wood. It's a quarter inch uh, board there. All right. So I can turn the visibility back onto my roof. Turn the visibility off of the body. The roof's still good. Everything looks good. All right. OK. So I've got the base uh, birdhouse here. Now I just need to drill a hole in it, put the peg in, do all that kind of stuff. All right, so for the hole, I'm going to start a sketch on the front of my birdhouse. Click in for a normal view. I want to create a circle. And once again, I'm going to use this origin and put my circle right in the middle. And I'm going to make mine a one-inch circle. So this is for small birds, this birdhouse. One inch, I'm going to extrude. This time, instead of adding or creating a new solid, I'm going to remove. So I want to click on the circle because that's what I want to remove. And instead of blindly going to a specific depth, I'm going to click on up to next. And that means it's going to remove um, a solids up until the next face it encounters. And the next face it encounters is the back side of this wall. So it is removing everything up till that back. All right, and that just allows me, if I decide to change the depth or if I add something else in there, it still removes it this, the whole thing and not just a quarter inch or whatever it is. All right, so I've got a pretty harsh hole there. I want to fill it, the edges of this hole, so it's not so harsh on the bird. So fill it, um, the radius, I'm going to click and do a 0.1 inch radius. That's fine. And I'm going to fill it the outside and the inside. Um, yeah, there we go. So that rounds it out for me. 
All right. The next thing I need to do is add the peg down here. So I'm going to start a sketch on the front of my birdhouse again. Use a circle tool. And I want to be centered. And the height of my peg, um, I'm not too concerned about, about there. I'm going to make it a quarter inch owl rod peg, probably. Finish the sketch and extrude just that circle. And um, I'm going to create a new solid instead of adding it to the house. I'm just going to create a new solid. Um, one inch. It's a pretty good size peg. All right, so I've created a new solid down here. I'm going to rename it from part three to peg. Okay, so I've got pretty good birdhouse looking so far. Now I need to do this underside uh, where the post attaches. It's just a square block where the post attaches. So I'm going to start a sketch on the underside of my birdhouse. Click in on the keyboard to get a normal two-dimensional view of my sketch plane. All right, and once again, I'm going to use this center point rectangle to start from the origin. And I am going to make a one and a half, 1.5 inch by 1.5 inch square. Oh, and I didn't, con I didn't constrain it to that. I want it to be constrained to the origin. All right, if I would have clicked on the origin when I made my square, it would have automatically constrained it to the organ origin. But instead, I had to manually. All right. I'm going to finish that. Extrude out. And once again, I'm not adding that to the body. I'm creating a new solid. And I'm going to make it maybe half of an inch thick. And um, we're going to, instead of fill it, the top edge here, or bottom edge, we're going to chamfer the bottom edge. And 0.1 is a good distance, so. All right. So now I need to make the post. So start a sketch on the bottom face of my new um, post holder there. Circle centered on the origin. I'm going to make a one inch circle. And um, the circle, the post is not a solid post, it's hollow. So I'm going to offset this post inside. Okay, enter. And the thickness of the post is 0.1 inches. And I'm going to extrude that circle. Um, I don't know, maybe how tall do I want this birdhouse? I probably want it up like what, four feet? So 48 inches. Okay. Um, so there's my birdhouse. I don't know, four feet's pretty big. Let's make that 24 inches. We'll just make it two feet. All right, and then I need to rename part four here. I need to rename that to um, post. I'm gonna turn off the visibility of my origin so I don't have that dot showing. There you go, guys. That is a, a birdhouse and it is ready to be printed, ready to be built, ready for specifications. Um, it's good to go. Go ahead and um, share this with me so that uh, I can grade it.